Hey guys, I have a really, 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 really good Dollar Tree haul today. I uh, went this morning, it's Saturday morning. I usually go on Friday. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I went this morning on Saturday and I found a lot of really good stuff. They have all the Easter stuff out now. There's a lot of good new stuff out. So this is probably one of my bigger hauls. And I say that I think every time I get a bigger haul, but really... I didn't want to miss out on some of this stuff and with Dollar Tree if you don't get certain things when you see them you will miss them I've said that before so all this new stuff I wanted to go ahead and get because I did not want to miss out on this so let's jump into it and get started okay I'll start out with some of the food stuff I got some more of these oh that's backwards some more of these juices I got the apple again just the plain apple I got a couple of these for the boys um, Sometimes I change up the flavors, but I just got the plain apple this time. And then I got some more of these rock stars. Um, this is the energy punch, fruit punch flavor. This one is not calorie free or sugar free or whatever. So my husband will probably drink these because they didn't have any that I could see of the low calorie or no calorie. So I just got these, um, but I'm assuming it's the same energy stuff, just full sugar. <laughs> Next up, Dollar Tree has had these for a while, um, the Popcorners. They have this in the white cheddar flavor. There's other flavors, but those are the two main flavors that I've seen at Dollar Tree. So I really like the kettle corn flavor, and it's just like the perfect little munchy snack. Um, and I've not seen any bigger bags of this. I don't see it really anywhere else like in our grocery stores. Um, so I always get these every now and then when I can because it's a really good snack. And... The entire bag is 360 and as far as calories, and there's three servings in here. Um, granted, one bag is a serving for me at times, but not always. But I just wanted to um, get a bag of this. I think I got, you know, I just got one bag this time. So, anyways, it's a really good snack. It's not, like, super unhealthy or anything, so I do like getting these. I got some more of the Good Health veggie straws for the boys, um, the sea salt. They also have a jalapeno and a ranch. I think maybe a cheddar flavor as well. Obviously, I haven't gotten a the jalapeno. They wouldn't eat that, but they like the ranch. Um, but I just got the plain sea salt ones this time. Repeat by more Gardettos. They still had them, and honestly, I am blowing through these, and so is my younger son. So we're going to keep getting these, I guess, until they run out. And then, as usual, some more Tasty Cakes. My younger son was actually with me today, so he made sure I got some of these um, this time. So I got two packs. <laughs> I'm going to preface this by saying I have not bought a single box of Girl Scout cookies this year, which is very unusual. I usually at least buy a couple boxes. Uh, the ones I like are the Thin Mints and the Tagalongs. Now, that being said, I found these at Dollar Tree. I had to give these a try. So I've not tried them yet, but I got two boxes of them and it is called the Fudge Mint Cookies. They're very Girl Scout-esque looking. <laughs> They're even a similar color. Um, so I've never seen this oven baked brand there before, but I wanted to give this a try. And since I skipped out on the Girl Scout cookies this year, I figured I would give these a go. They had a lot of them there. It's I think a new product that I've never seen there before. So I'll keep you updated on if these are any good or comparable to Girl Scout cookies. Now I know this will probably vary by location, but they had some leftover Valentine candy. I didn't see any other Valentine's products left over, but the candy it was. Now I think they kind of wait till next year, and if some of the same Valentine stuff is going to be what they use for the next year as far as the actual products, they will save those and restock them later. But the candy, obviously, it's got a shelf life, so they're not going to be able to do that. So they had the candy as two for a dollar for pretty much everything that was there. So I got some more of these Junior Mints. The boys, I think, got to these before my husband did, and I intended them, um, attended him to have these. So... I got some more. And then I got some more of these. Ooh, that's loud. The popping candy with the suckers. Um, so I got two of each. So I got four things of candy for 50 cents a piece. So I thought that was a good little deal. Another thing I got was I wanted to get some... Sometimes I just get in the mood for sour candy. So I saw these. These are called Sour Dudes Sour Straws like just the brand name sour straws but 
they had these right beside the brand name ones and it was a four ounce little package and then these sour dudes which are the store brand or off brand or whatever you want to call it was a five ounce bag so i figured i'd give these a try because technically it is a better deal so if they're just as good as the other ones why not and then i wanted to try the brand name out of these foil sheets. You know, I get the um, other brand, I guess it's the store brand for Dollar Tree. They come in 30 sheets. This one only has 25 sheets, but it is the Reynolds Wrap brand. What I did notice is they're a little bit bigger. So, not by much, but just the tiniest bit. So, anyways, I wanted to give these a try, see if they were thicker or sturdier. The other ones weren't bad by any means, but I'm always going to use them, so I figured I'd try this one. If it's big enough difference, I'll continue to get these. A lot of the Easter stuff, like I said, has been starting to come out. So I got this sign. This sign was the available last year, um, but I never picked it up and I messed out on it because I was naive and thought that I could get it later if I wanted it. I had four little bunny tails when I left the store today. His cotton tail fell off. And these are like just little cotton balls. But I will find it and glue his little tail back on. But it was so cute, it looks like the little bunny peep, so I had to get it this time since I saw it. And as always, stay tuned for pictures at the end because I didn't get a lot of the Easter stuff that's already out, but if you wanted to pick it up or had any that you wanted to make sure you got, you need to go get it now because it is fully stocked with Easter stuff. The only other really Eastery decor thing that I got was this um, kitchen towel. They don't dry the greatest in my opinion, but I don't hate them and the designs are really cute. So this one says, hello spring, that's got floral pattern and bees and then just like the green stripe um, in the background. So I was really excited to see this. They had some cute ones. Um, I'll have some more in pictures I think at the end as well, um, but this is the only one that I picked up. Dollar Tree is always really good as far as their craft stuff, getting it at a good price, that kind of thing. I'd always seen the potted succulents and they're a good bit smaller and it's just styrofoam that's overlaid with like a spray and some stones to make it look like it's in a pot. But I have never, well not never, but at my Dollar Tree they have not usually gotten the ones that are on the clips or the picks. They had both this time when I went so of course I snagged them up because these are great for DIYs. So there's this one that looks more lettuce-ish. Um, and these are a good size. This is on the pick, which I might just cut the pick off and do something with it. Um, and the only other pick one that I got was this one that's really pretty in more of the typical succulent looking style. And then I got three different clip ones. I got this one that almost looks like a aloe plant, um, but it's really small. And this one that's also the typical succulent shape and then I got one that had the more purple on it as well and these were the clip ones um, so I will probably be incorporating some of these into my decor or doing a DIY of some variety with these but I was excited to see these like I said I don't usually see the ones with the clips and the picks mostly just the potted ones that honestly the quality is not quite as good as those so I was excited to see those a food item that I forgot about is these little strawberries, which my son's already gotten into them. He loves this little candy, and I just like having candies like this around the house. And they can get a, one or two little small things and indulging in a giant dessert. So I like getting this kind of stuff too. So he hadn't had them in a while, so I let him get some. A random little purchase that I got was this whisk. It's the silicone whisk, but it's still got the sturdy wire underneath. And it's pretty heavy duty, like it's not going to fall apart when you're trying to whisk or anything. Um, so I got that because my wire whisk is kind of not the best shape right now. And, it, and all the things are kind of bending and wanting to get out of shape. So I wanted to give this a try. Plus it's got the silicone and you don't have to worry about damaging your bowls or anything like that when you're mixing stuff up. I saw Nicole Burgess haul these when she got stationary wasted as she calls it but it was these little coffee cup stationaries notepad things there was about at least four different ones i only picked up these two but what's cool is it does have the magnet on the back and it's the crown jewels brand so this one says life begins after coffee and the background on this one i don't know if you can see is the little succulents so i was excited about that and then this one has more of a 
yellow blue background and it just says coffee time with the lines so those were some purchases I was really excited about and like I said pictures of the other designs at the end and one more pair of socks for my husband I got the um, hamburger ones this time which I think I was looking for those specifically last time but never could find them so I got them this time and then there's a couple of them that look like they've been eaten out of so usually when we go to Dollar Tree the boys are with me or at least one of them is if that's the case then I let them get a toy or an item that they just wanted so this time Sully was with me he's my youngest so this is what he picked out as his toy it's just a little dart game um, so we'll see how that goes I want to say we've had this before and I don't know if it was a Dollar Tree version but it didn't really work super great so we'll see how this one works and then I, this was a new one so I got this for my eight-year-old because he wasn't with me um, this time but since it was new I wanted to get it and show you guys and I had a feeling he would like it it is Lego related so of course he likes anything Lego this is in the shape of a little car so it's a bottle it's a screw on cap and it's in the shape of a car that has 80 80 assorted blocks it's got 80 random um, blocks in here that are red green no no green red yellow blue and black and you can pretty much make anything out of it but it's in the shape of a car and it's stored in that so I thought that was awesome okay so when I first walked into Dollar Tree my eyes were immediately drawn to that front section where they put all the new stuff they have new baskets and new containers they are awesome. I've never seen this pattern on it before. They had new shapes. I was like <laughs> beside myself. So this is the new pattern of the baskets. Um, it's more of a like true basket weave looking pattern. And this is a really good size basket. They, of course they had several sizes, um, but I like it because it's more straight up and down. So I liked that. And the weave inside or the holes are not very big. So you could pretty much store anything in here um, and not have a problem. So I was excited about this one. And then they had two sizes of this one as well. And this is literally something I have never seen there before. Um, at least this kind of size. They had these round ones with that same weave. They had the, um, typical floral weave as well the one that looks like it's the flowers design in there but I was obsessed when I saw this one so I got it and I got the gray to keep it kind of neutral they had like a navy color um, a lighter blue and a pink but um, yeah I had to grab two of each of those because even when I was checking out the cashier said I haven't seen these yet they're not gonna last long so they know too that stuff flies off the shelves as soon as they get new stuff like that in. Down to my last few items is a couple of decor pieces and this coffee mug. They had an entire um, display with an entire dish set, I guess, of these um, this pattern. Uh, there it is. It's a very pretty pattern at the top and it's a very pretty color. So they had the small plates, they had the big plates, they had um, some clear glass cups with a pattern on them, they had the coffee cups. I'm not sure if they had bowls, but I took a picture of that whole uh, side of the aisle there so you could see what all they had. But I grabbed the one coffee mug because I like having mixed ma mix matched coffee mugs. I don't like having all the same set and that kind of thing. If I like a mug, I'm going to grab it and use it. So I got this one and I really liked it. And those sets of dishes, honestly, if you were looking to replacing your set, then that'd be a good one. I'm not, but I would love to have had those kind of dishes. I got these little votives. They're mercury glass um, and then they were covered in the white and it's not completely solid so you can see through them so they look really pretty with a candle in there but honestly you could take like a succulent and stick it in and make it really pretty as well so I plan on using this as part of like some of my spring decor and incorporating that in somewhere so I got two of those along with two of these little birds they're kind of very geometrically hard-edged kind of birds um, I thought they were really pretty 
and they would go well into spring and I think that's obviously why they put them out right now. So I got two of these as well. I'm going to figure out how to put them in my decor somehow. Um, but I was really excited to find these because I'd seen some other people haul them as well but I wanted to um, get my hands on them myself. So. So that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, it was a big one, right? Like, it was a really good one. So if you've noticed any of the new spring stuff or if you've seen anything else that I didn't see, um, comment down below. Let me know what it is that you found that was your favorite item um, from this week. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified for more of these Dollar Tree hauls. I do try to get them up weekly. If I can't weekly, then every other week for sure. So far, I've done every week and I pretty much go every week anyway, so it's not that hard for me to do. So like I said, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. I got some more of the good, oh jeez. <clears throat> My bunny tail fell off and I don't know where it's at. I like doing these thumbnails. It's like how many items can one hold in their hand at one time?